Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. Today I'd like to give you an introduction in one hyperparameter optimization library which is called Baytune. Now in order to use it in Jupyter, in this case notebook in Colab, if you want to follow along there, you need to first install it using exclamation mark pip install and then Baytune. Otherwise, of course, if you want to do it locally, you have to install the library there. And it might make sense that you create a virtual environment for that. But having said that, after installing it, at least in Colab, you need to restart the runtime. So click on restart runtime so that the package is available. So it only takes a few seconds, I guess, and then it's available for us. Now, how does it work? At first, we need some kind of data. And for that, we can import from SkyKit Learn the data sets for instance, the load breast cancer. Very often used data set and quite easy to import there. Of course, you can also use other data sets, uh, your personal data sets, for instance. But just to learn about Baytune, we can use this default one. And then we need to specify uh, which of, in this case, the algorithms we want to use. So for instance, the st stochastic gradient descent classifier here, decision tree and extract tree, which were imported here from Sky Learn library but you can also use other classifiers if you want. Then we need some kind of scoring. So in this case, from the metrics, we use the F1 score, uh, which is um, maybe a better measure depending on what we want instead of only using accuracy, for instance, right? Because it is a harmonic mean between, uh, I think, precision and recall, as far as I know. Okay, so from Baytune itself, what we need is the tunable. We need the hyperparameters as HP, this is just an abbreviation, and then the session itself. Then we can load the data. And here I just took a look at the data set itself, which in this case is a, a data bunch, in this case, or a bunch from Skykit Learn. But we can simply get the data by calling dot data or dot target on the data set to get the real values in here. I think as a pandas data frame, as far as I know. So then uh, we specify here the models. And the main difference is, or what we need to be aware of, that we do not instantiate it here. We only specify the model classes here. The reason for that is because the uh, when we instantiate the classes, we want to like to put our hyperparameters. And these are the ones we like to actually tune, right? So we want to optimize. So what we do is we specify then the scoring function here. And the scoring function takes the model itself from models, so each of them. And then also the HP values, which we put also into the scoring function, and simply using this uh, double star to um, well, give the, the keyword arguments, the quarks, right? And then we do a cross-well score for that. Um, so do some cross-validation with our F1 scorer, and then we return simply the mean. And uh, the main point uh, in defining our, let's call it grid. If you know grid search, it's kind of sim similar to that, but it's using Bay, uh, Bayesian optimization. And uh, then we define a tunable here, where we specify at first, of course, here each of our, in this case, uh, algorithms we want to use, and then the tunable itself. And this is just tunable, and then a dictionary with the specific, um, well, hyperparameter, and then a range we're going to use. For instance, hp.int hyperparameter is any integer value between 3 and 200. Or it's if it's a float hyperparam, then it's a float value between 0, 0, 1 and 1. So that's how you specify this. And you can see you can also set uh, default values which you're going to use if you want to do that. Now, after specifying this uh, dictionary or dictionary within a dictionary with the tunables, then we can simply start the session, which is called btb.session, and we specify the tunables and also the scoring function, and then we run the session. And that's basically all we need to do. And then uh, it just starts running the session. And for me, this is quite quick because the data set is small. Uh, but then at the end, we derive at, uh, let me just scroll down here, scroll down to the end. Here we derive with uh, the best hyperparameters which have been found. And in this case, it's simply the extra tree classifier with this specific configuration and with this specific score. And using those uh, parameters here, for instance, we can then use um, then the specific optimized classifier and do our uh, predictions on the uh, on new data set or the test data set, right? So how this is the way it works. And that's it for this hyperparameter optimization technique. It's a little bit different in this case from uh, the, the default ones, which normally grid search CV and random search CV, because it's uh, related to base. Uh, but it's interesting and it's quite easy to use. And as you've seen, there are similarities to the default ones. So I think if you want to try it out, 
um, and you're familiar with the other ones, then you should be also familiarize yourself quite quickly with that one. So that's it for this video. If you want to try it, as I said, give it a try for your own data sets. Then thanks a lot for watching. If you have not subscribed so far, please consider it. Thanks a lot for that. And also give this video a like. So wish you all the best. Have a nice weekend and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.